Hi, this is Harish Bali from technofair.com. OneDrive was previously known as SkyDrive. It's a popular cloud storage platform to store your important files and information. If you want to use OneDrive, you should have an account with Microsoft like Hotmail or Outlook. And if you don't have one, you can create it by using your existing email ID like Gmail, Yahoo or any other mail ID. To learn more, watch this video. Go to OneDrive.com. Sign in using your Microsoft account such as Outlook or Hotmail and if you don't have one, you can create a new account using your existing email ID. I've got a Hotmail account. Next, password. This is my OneDrive homepage. There are various things we can do with OneDrive. To start with, let's create a document. Click on create. You can create a Word document, Excel workbook, PowerPoint presentation, OneNote for taking quick notes, Excel survey. Excel surveys let other people fill out your questionnaire where you can see it all in one place online. You can also create a plain text document. Plain text document support symbols and spaces but does not support any type of text formatting. Therefore, you cannot apply bold, italic, underline styles and you, you cannot use different fonts or font sizes in plain text document. Let me create a word document. You can click on this document thing here and rename the document. So, I am naming it as test for tutorial and you can write whatever you want to write on the document. This is a test document for tutorial on OneDrive. Now, let's say if I close this from here, the document will automatically get saved. This document that I have just created is right here, test for tutorial. I can open this again and edit it further. To edit this document, click on edit document, edit in Word online. Let's say I am writing, this is my first tutorial on OneDrive. If I close this, the document is updated and edited to the last editing that I have done on the document. I can also upload files and folders by clicking on this upload files. I have uploaded a new document by the name Wikipedia Ashish and it's right here. I can now go ahead and share this document with anyone. To share a document, click on this small checkbox next to the document and click on share from the menu. You can enter the email ID of the person with whom you wish to share. This can be a Microsoft email ID or a non Microsoft ID like Gmail or Yahoo. I am going to share this document with a friend of mine who uses Gmail. I am making a tutorial on OneDrive. Are you online? If you want to give editing rights to the recitant, you can click on recitant can edit. Otherwise, you can give a only view right. So I'm giving an editing right. Similarly, you can choose whether you want him to have a Microsoft account or it's OK if you doesn't have a Microsoft account. So I'm choosing the option recitant need not log in with a Microsoft account and click on share. Close. There's one more way you can share a document. Let's go back to share. Click on get a link from the left hand side navigation. You can shorten this link also. You can simply use this link by sending it over a mail to anyone or you can post it on a Facebook or Twitter depending upon your choice of document and close it. Let's see whether my friend has added anything to the document. I need to click on edit document for online for collaboration. Oh, good. That's good. I use OneDrive on my mobile and desktop. It's a good platform for online collaboration is the message that Johnny has reverted. And let's say I write 
that is good i also use it on my mobile and laptop thanks johnny for this quick revert now i can see that johnny is doing some editing on the document can you see this online document collaboration that my friend is doing he has written that school thanks take care i can close this document from here and all our conversation is recorded and will stay updated in this document you can try out doing various things with the document by clicking write you can open a document in word open in word online so that you can start collaborating online you can download it sharing we have already discussed you can embed the document on your website rename it delete it and you can try out other options as well onedrive provides 15 gb of free space i've got 14.9 gb still available i can go to recycling bin and restore the documents that's deleted i can go and buy more storage space by clicking on this link i can also go ahead and install onedrive app on my desktop or my laptop and in fact this can also be installed on my mobile device so there are various options that are available for example if god i've got a windows phone i can click this option and install it on my phone on your one drive you can sort the files by name date modified date created or by their size similarly you can change the view of the files currently it's set to list you can view it as thumbnail like this or go back to list view you can also connect to skype or can add people to your contact list through social sites on one drive to do so you need to click on this thumbnail menu icon from the top left corner of this page and then select people similarly you can use outlook inbox calendar etc from the thumbnail two or three important things from a common usage point of view from the left hand side navigation you can view recent documents you can view the photographs you can also view the documents that you have shared if you are used to windows you may find using onedrive more comfortable in comparison to other cloud storage platforms you can use onedrive seamlessly across your devices like computer system tablets and smartphones if you found this video useful give a thumbs up to this video also don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and if you want to learn more about other cloud storage platforms click on the links appearing in front of your screen and thanks for watching